What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I've got something incredibly exciting for you if you play Cyberpunk 2077. So, for the longest time, when you click play, you see not only the launcher, but a CD Projekt Red intro, an epilepsy warning, and then finally the intro video before you can reach the main menu. This is the normal default way of doing it. You click play through Steam, you get to the red launcher, you click play, you see the CD Projekt Red, followed by an epilepsy warning. And then finally, after this unskippable screen here, you see this intro, you can click space to skip it, the main menu loads, space bar once again, and you're finally in game. So before we get into the interesting part of this video, which is a mod, there is something that I highlighted in a previous video of mine, which is the launcher skip. And now there's also a start screen skip that we'll be using to make this process even faster. Open up Steam or your game store of choice, right click Cyberpunk, Properties, and get your way down to the Launch Options section. Inside of here, all we're going to be doing is entering hyphen hyphen launcher hyphen skip to skip the red launcher. Then we'll hit space and we'll type in hyphen skip start screen. You'll find this in the description below as well. This skips the red launcher and part of the intro. Let's see what that looks like. Clicking play, the game should start up immediately without the need of the red launcher. We'll see the CD Projekt Red icon. And after we get past the epilepsy warning, we get to the intro movie. And then after hitting space, we're on the main menu without having to hit space a second time. Basically, that's what those two launch options do. But how do we skip the unskippable epilepsy warning and CD Projekt Red icon at the very beginning? Well, recently a mod was released to actually do this. Linked it down below, you'll find the no intro videos mod linked on the Nexus mods store page. All you need to do is simply create an account and then log into to download the file. After logging in, head back to this page, head across the Files tab, and then simply click Manual Download. After doing this, scroll down and click Slow Download to start the free download. With a tiny file like this, we don't need premium for a faster download. Open up the zip that we just downloaded, and inside of it, you'll find an archive folder, which contains PC, patch, and then an archive file. What we're gonna do is select this archive folder directly inside of the zip and we'll navigate across to where the game is installed. For this, I'll open up Steam, right click the game, hover over manage, and then click browse local files. That'll open up a new file browser dialog. And inside of here, we have red pre-launcher, bin, bonus content, and archive. What we're gonna do is simply drag this archive into the same folder here so that we merge the new archive with the existing archive. After doing this, you should see PC, and then a patch folder inside of it. Great, now we've installed the mod. This time, if we go ahead and launch up the game via Steam, including those two launch options, we should see that we have no red launcher at the very beginning. The screen goes black, we see the screen here, and then immediately afterwards, we can click spacebar, and after the main menu loads, we're directly on it. It's really simple. Of course, the game will function exactly as normal. It doesn't change anything else other than the startup sequence. If your game's crashing a lot or you're changing settings that require you to restart your game very often or anything like that, this is going to be an absolute lifesaver for you. It's a bit unfortunate this didn't come around earlier when the games were crashing left, right, and center. I think now it's at least a little bit better, but if your game's still crashing a lot, you're restarting it a lot, this is gonna save you a lot of time and headache. But anyways, that's about it for this video. If you'd like to see how to optimize your game completely, I've gone through every single video option, benchmarked them, and created a summary video on that, as well as a plethora of other Cyberpunk 2077 content. You'll find a couple of them linked in the description down below. Anyways, thank you all for watching, my name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!